Howdy boyos, what's poppin'? So, my past two videos talking about high school stuff have done relatively well. So I figure high school, high school musical, same thing, totally, people, please still click on the videos. I try so hard to make these good. So, the High School Musical film franchise. It was pretty much a staple in every Gen Zer's childhood. Pretty much. For some people it wasn't, and I'm very upset about that, but you know, it's fine. It was a staple of my childhood. Now, I never really appreciated these films until about 7th or 8th grade when I had grown up and was actually getting ready for high school and I was like, hey, these are on Netflix, let me revisit these and I fucking fell in love. <laughs> the High School Musical franchise is possibly the greatest franchise to have ever existed. Now these are not my favorite films of all time. They, these are not the best films of all time. They're just the greatest franchise to ever exist in its own separate category called High School Musical. That's, that's it, they're, it's just what they are and they are art. <laughs> so, let's get started. So we start off with High School Musical 1. Now, not by much. I should probably rewatch them. For me, either three is slightly above one or one is slightly above three. I go back and forth. But one, it's it's like a classic. So you can't fault it for that. You get the introduction to the beautiful story of Troy and Gabriella and their high school drama of they're from different cliques, but can they still be in love? But maybe they're not tied down to just one click and they can defy high school odds. Will their love make it through? I mean, yes, because it's a Disney movie. This film is the one that started it all. So in a sense, it's the staple and you gotta love it. But there are some drawbacks to it, which is why like, it's amazing, but also not the best one in the franchise. If you want a good deep analysis on which High School Musical movie is actually the best, go subscribe to 24 Frames of Nick, because honestly, we stan. So, in the first one, like, it's the one that started it all, but did you know that Zac Efron didn't even sing in this one? My childhood was a lie. Like, we already knew that because my parents got divorced, but like, my childhood was a lie. <laughs> Oh my god, so Zac Efron didn't even sing in this one, but it's still the one that started it all, so you gotta love it. Ryan and Sharpay, you don't get too much character development, which isn't great. They were the most creative in this movie. It gets so much better, but honestly, it's a classic. Now, what makes a perfect sequel? Is a high school musical movie not even set at high school. So after Troy and Gabriella defy all the odds and perform in the high school musical together, capturing the leading role, breaking stereotypes, it's summer rolls around and it's time for them to get jobs. High School Musical 2 is the best one in the franchise. You can fight me on that. One may be a classic, three may be fantastic, but two is the best. So, in High School Musical 2, Sharpay and Ryan just own a resort. There's so many good antics in this movie. Every song is a bop. There's parts where literally they should have done another take and they just didn't because they don't care and that adds to the movie. Like there's this part where Chad like knocks the microphone off the stand, but it's just back in the stand in the next shot and just kept that in the movie. And there's a part where Ryan at the end when he gets the trophy, he straight up breaks it by accident and they kept that in the next shot. It's just fixed. It's fine guys. Didn't notice. <laughs> High School Musical 2, oh my god. Every song is a freaking bop. Ryan's outfits in this movie are incredible. 
the sexual tension between Ryan and Chad. Honestly, it's got the most compelling story. This one is probably the most creative, too. They managed to do so much with it. The whole thing is just so bright and so colorful. It just makes me so happy. Honestly, bane of my existence right here. So the only thing that you can possibly follow up a masterpiece like this with is the perfect, I can't find it, the perfect ending of a story. Senior year. High School Musical 3, <laughs> senior year. The entire cast is back, but it's their last year of high school. And also, they're putting on a musical about their last year of high school. And also, Gabrielle's not even gonna finish high school. She just goes off to college early. So you know, there's the drama between who's, who's gonna get Troy, Sharpay, or Gabriella when Gabriella isn't even there for him. Oh my gosh. We get so many new characters in this third movie. The budget was so high, this was the only one to get a release in theaters. And honestly, it's so funny because the budget is so high quality, but it's at times it's so shit. Um, there's a song called Scream where Troy is like, which do I choose, basketball or theater? I just want to scream. And then like raining down are just all these CGI basketballs. And it's like so obvious that they're CGI, but it makes it so funny and so good, which is one of the reasons that maybe I like this one more than the first one. Some of the songs, in my opinion, might actually be better in this one, but sort of one and three kind of balance each other out. Like there's both good and bad aspects to both one and three in the sense that like it's a constant battle like this. Which one do I actually like more? But as a trilogy, High School Musical is just the perfect story. Like, I dropped the first one. It's like in The Office, where you start off with these amazing characters. And just through the course of a school year, a summer, and another school year, you just grow with these wonderful cast of characters through songs that are complete and utter bops even though Zac Efron didn't sing throughout the entire first one. They're still bops, and that's what makes it such a good trilogy. The character arcs are excellent. Three has such like a conclusion. Everyone goes off to good colleges. You know exactly where everyone is going. Everyone's relationships are set. Everyone's in love. God, I wish that were me. But honestly, it's just, it's incredible. And they're such, yes, they're Disney Channel movies, but the characters are good. The tropes are good. The way the characters interact with one another is just so natural and so good, which is what makes this the greatest trilogy of all time, in my opinion, because I haven't seen that many trilogies of films. So if you like this video, Maybe I'll talk about more films in the future. I have done a couple of videos talking about different TV shows and stuff like that. So I thought, you know, this one's kind of similar. Everyone likes my videos about high school, high school musical. I already went over that. So yeah, if you like this, maybe more in the future, consider subscribing. Hit that like, hit that notification bell, comment down below. Seriously, everything helps me out. Anyway, I love, love, love you guys. Bye!